This is Abe Degnan at our 2012 Parade Home. One of the things that we've done for energy efficiency and water savings and convenience is to create a hot water return line. So you can see that we have uh, we have our two water pipes insulated down here at our farthest point and those follow along. We have a nice short run uh, very direct uh, through here and into the utility room and those lead over to the water heater. Now we'll have a pump here at the water heater and, uh, and that will recirculate the water. What happens then is that when this pump runs intermittently, it will always make sure that there's hot water in there. So for convenience, the homeowner, when they turn on their bathroom faucet um, at the farthest point over there, they're not gonna wait uh, 30 seconds or a minute for water to come out that, that is hot enough to use. They'll have, they'll have hot water uh, within about uh, two seconds. The uh, the other part of it then is that the water heater, uh, while, while there is a little bit of heat loss through the pipes, we've insulated them to minimize the heat loss. And then secondly, the, the water never has a chance to cool down very much being recirculated. At most, the water temperature cools from say 110 degrees down to the ambient temperature of, of uh, 70 degrees. Now, if there was no, uh, if there was no pump recirculating that water, keep in mind what would happen. You would have, uh, you would have that water cooling down completely and then you would have to run the hot water for 30 seconds to get hot water over there and meanwhile you are draining that uh, that that lukewarm water out and the water heater is pulling in the the municipal water supply at about 50 degrees and now that that uh, that 30 seconds of water has to get reheated all the way from 50 degrees up to 110 and so that is definitely going to use energy and and it is going to uh, use more energy than just reheating that tepid water from, from 70 degrees to 110, um, or from 70, 75 or 80 degrees to 110 thanks to that pipe insulation. It should never have a chance to, to get uh, cold. If you leave the pump running all the time though, you then, then you're, you're constantly having a little radiator there. Uh, so what we recommend then is to, is to run that pump at the key times of day when you're using water when you know that you're a, a water user in the morning showering things like that and if you're home throughout the day run it uh, for for um, a few minutes every hour so that you have that hot water there all the time but that you're not constantly running it creating a radiator